Hello, everyone. My guest today is Thomas Vanderklei. He's the founder of Tap Affiliate, a company that builds world-class tools for tracking, managing, and growing affiliate programs and referral programs. In previous lives, he's created an ad-supported free printing service for students and a social network for startups. He loves ad tech, vinyl records, and needless to say, cats. Thomas, are you ready to take us to the top? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Tap Affiliate. Tell us about the company. What do you guys do? And is your model, revenue model, pure SaaS? Yeah, so we uh, build affiliate tracking software. Uh, we help affiliates, uh, uh, e-commerce businesses, and other uh, SaaS businesses to set up affiliate programs. So we sort of like a Google Analytics for affiliate marketing. And yes, we're 100% SaaS. That's great. So, so on average, kind of what, about, what does a customer pay you per month? Would you say? Uh, that's about eighty dollars. Oh, 80. Okay, so so fairly. Hopefully, this is like high volume. Then, right at that price point, um, what kinds of customers are you signing up typically? Uh, everything we have uh, from, well, there's a lot of e-commerce. E uh, we get like food supplements, fashion, travel, like everything that is being blogged about, basically. Uh, so that's that's one end. But we also have, you know, porn. Uh, everything is in there, basically. Crypto. Interesting. You said porn, crypto, SMBs, yeah. all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we actually have one of the... Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say... Uh, what, and this is kind of interesting, what can we learn, what can SaaS CEOs learn about their affiliate programs from how effective you see the porn company running theirs? Well, to be honest, we, we don't meddle a lot with, uh, with our customers. We have low touch models, so we don't really go into, um, uh, into like individual clients. We just, you know, we do our questionnaires and we do our, you know, interviews. Um, but we don't, I, I don't have any specific insights to, to share about, about specific businesses. Okay. When did you launch the company? What year? Uh, it was 2013. Okay. Oh, 14. 14. Sorry, 14. Yeah. And, um, and what have you scaled to today in terms of total customers on the platform? Uh, we're a little over a thousand. Okay. Well, a little over a thousand. So that's, I mean, that's pretty healthy growth. I mean, I can take thousand times 80, right? You're doing about a million bucks a year right now. That's it. That's good. What's growth? Where were you at about a year ago? Well, we used to do 100% uh, year over year, um, but we launched a new website in February of this year, and that completely, <laughs> completely killed our conversion rates. Uh, and it took us quite a while to sort of like find out what was going on. We got a lot of things we liked about the new website because we like we realigned our mission and vision. We're looking for a different kind of customer, um, but it took a little while to find out what was actually you know um, holding back customers from signing up. Uh, and we actually just, you know, we got back on track about about a month ago. So okay. we're now like starting pump, starting to pump again. So you're you're about 80, 80 grand per month today. Where were you a year ago? Were you flat basically? No, a year ago it was rather like uh, I think it's like sixty. Okay, so still some growth there, just not a hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. And then um, have you funded the company or are you bootstrapped? Bootstrapped. Oh, I love that. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, how many other founders are there? Um, it's basically just me, and uh, I have one partner, but he's more of a old <laughs> wise, old wise man. Bless you. Thank you. He's a, he's, a, he's a wise man, strategic advisor. He's a minority shareholder who might just wanted to have on board just to to be with me. That's great. Uh, how many people are on the team today? Uh, we're five. Oh, five people. Gosh, I love stories like this, like small, nimble, bootstrap, thousand customers. Um, walk me through customer acquisition. What are you paying to acquire customers? Uh, so we pay, we only look at AdWords. Which no, is no, no, do source. fully weighted. Include any salespeople or customer success or onboarding. Uh, so I think that's about, for a trial customer, it's about <clears throat> 20 to $30. And we have a trial to paying ratio of 40%. Okay, so said otherwise, you need a hundred trials for forty. You need two trials basically for one new customer. So you're spending seventy. No, two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're spending like about a hundred bucks to acquire a new paying customer. Something like that. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. If they're paying eighty bucks a month, your payback's about a you know month, two months. Yeah, exactly. Healthy. Um, so you know, here's the other question, right? I mean, if you found growth channels, why not why not go get some additional capital and 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 pound you know drive growth. Uh, th th there are multiple answers to that question. Um, for one, this company was founded um, from multiple angles. One was because I had some experience with affiliate marketing from both sides as an affiliate and uh, as an advertiser, and I didn't really like how everything was set up. So I set out to change that. Our thing is that I had a, uh, different companies before, and 
part of this setting up this company was modeled around the things that I didn't like before. Uh, in my first company, I had a very bad experience uh, with an investor uh, or with multiple investors, actually. Um, How bad? Like so, when they forced you out or what happened? No, they were just, it. they ended up not really understanding the business. Uh, and they were putting a lot of pressure on us and making us do the wrong things. Um, and in the end, uh, I wanted to, you know, it, it, it really depends also on how you define success, right? So for some people, hyper growth is success for me in this company is much more, uh, it's a much more holistic thing. So I, you know, I'm for, for one, I'm very, very picky uh, about whom I work with, uh, like extremely picky because, you know, like working is my hobby. So I, if I want to go to the office, I want it to be, I want it to be like amazing there and I want really nice people uh, around no, but Thomas, me. Thomas, what, what actually happened? Like specifically what happened? Did, did they like do something behind your back or like what, what happened? No, it were, it were several, it's, it's, it's such a long story that it's hard to sort of compress that into, into like into, into a couple of sentences. But basically there were uh, multiple investors on board. One was a big company who uh, was sort of, I think you'd say spotting us uh, uh, working capital by giving us their products for free. Then we had financial investors on board and they were basically playing games together. Uh, and we were just young guys. We were like 21, 22, didn't know what was going on, you know, didn't know anything about business. And they were sort of like big forces fighting each other. And we were sort of like the ball being kicked around at that point. So interesting. Um, it's, it's, I can't put it, you know, any how much, how, how large is that company in terms of ARR? Oh, that company, no, we uh, we sold ads, so that was not that was not recurring revenue. Oh, That's also one of the reasons why I started the SaaS business because back then we we had quite large customers or nice customers. We had like Dell and how uh, big was the company? I'm just curious. And like your best 12 months, how many how many revenue? Uh, we you? we did like I, we did like uh, 400k in yearly revenue. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Well, we you made a smart partners. you it made was, a smart decision a then. Company. Yeah, yeah. Company. By the way, the yeah. new website's gorgeous. It's so funny when you look at websites that are gorgeous. Many times they convert way worse than the ugliest websites yeah. you've ever seen. Exactly. It's the eBay, uh, the eBay, uh, the eBay thing. Craigslist, right? Oh, Craigslist. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> um, well, this is great. Okay, so I love this. Five people bootstrapped, doing your own thing, having a lot of fun. Where's the team based? Uh, we're in lovely Amsterdam. Am everyone's in Amsterdam. Everyone is in Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit of a, uh, I'm, I'm a bit old school in that sense. I, I like everybody being together in an office. That's kind of great. Also has to do with what I said before. You know, for me, like going to work is has to be as much fun as you know my free time. So yeah, I like to be around people. So uh, I want to be uh, around people I work with. Yeah, churn. What's your churn today? Yeah, so logo churn uh, is about seven percent, which is quite high per month. Um, yeah, per month. Um, but it could be way lower uh, if we, you know, if we took a different approach in the sense of, you know, getting more people on faster. Because like for, for a long time, it was only like three people in the company. So there's only so much you can do. So there's What's still the a low end. What's the revenue churn? The revenue churn is a little bit lower. It's around 5%. Uh, but that's because, you know, we've been on our current price points for quite a while. So we don't have a lot of, you know, we started out at $29. Now the lowest price plan is $69. But we, we still have some of those guys around, but we don't have a lot of those push out. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to guess you don't have a ton of expansion revenue because the delta between your cheapest and most expensive isn't in the thousands. I mean, do you have yeah. meaningful expansion or no? No, that's right. We, we just have a little bit, we, we, but we don't really push for it at this moment. It's one of those things that, you know, we need to get done, but uh, we're a small team and there's only so much you can get done in a week. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, when I'm looking at your pricing, no matter what the price point is, there's, there's zero transaction fees. Um, yeah, that's right. You add on in your pro plan for 150 a month, custom domains, five team members, multi-domain and then like bonus incentives. I'm, I, I'm not sure what that means, but what's the main reason people go from 70 a month to, you know, one, 150 a month? Yeah, it's usually uh, the custom domain uh, team members. Um, it, it really differs. Like it's, it's so hard to say, like we, we don't have like one specific customer. We have such a wide array of customers uh, that they, they're all, you know, upgrade for different reasons. Yeah, this is like, <clears throat> so this is, by the way, Thomas, it this is future imperative, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this is an interesting thing though, right? So there's so many founders that I talk to that are like in the million to four, five million range. And they're trying to figure out like expansion and pricing. And like the biggest issue I always see is they can't identify like a single, like the single value metric that their customers like value the most. And so like when I think about it, if I was a customer of you, you know, the best value of what Tap Affiliate would give me would probably be how many sales affiliates are driving me. If you Definitely. can't, if you can't get that data, right, the next would be maybe how many affiliates or how many clicks they're driving through their links, right? But like yeah. you don't put either of those metrics in your in your pricing plans to drive up sales. Why is that? Um there is this is a very good question. Now there's there are several reasons. Like um I think that if you want to do affiliate marketing yourself, as opposed to doing it through a network, I'm not sure how familiar you are with how yeah, you do click laid funnels, out. yeah, or- yeah, exactly. So, like, you pay them, you pay them a percentage. But if you want to do affiliate marketing yourself, um, you have to make a very enticing offer for affiliates um, because you know they like affiliate attention is scarce, basically. So you have to make something really cool for them, so they want to promote you over other people. Now, it gives you an extremely big edge if you don't have to if you don't have to pay any per transaction fees because because you can use the money either you know for your own bottom line or even better to create a more enticing offer for your affiliates so you know we think that's not it's, huge it's, though it's, thomas right i mean usually those are like one or two percent well it's like 15 percent of commission is sometimes for gross sumo say that again for gross oh, sumo it's 15 percent of I the see. commission yeah 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 so i you see what you're saying 15 percent more commission basically you're not talking like payment transaction fees you're talking about the networks and typically the cut that they take yeah exactly yeah. so that is all taken out which means you know you have you are way more you can be way more competitive that's interesting okay let me ask a couple of questions here a thousand customers how many affiliates have they all signed up all together uh that is a number i'd rather not divulge okay but, uh, is it typically though like is it i'm just curious like is it typically like a one-to-one -one ratio or it's like one to ten or no it's, it's way more it's it's and again, it really depends. We have like our tool is pretty flexible. So we have people using our, our tool as a, a referral uh, marketing tool. So what they do is they have like an Uber or like Dropbox style affiliate program where they basically just use this infrastructure. So when a, when a customer signs up, they sign them up with us through the API. They grab their affiliate link, present that, you know, within their own portal. So basically they would, you know, sign up each and every one of their customers as affiliates. Um Ah, so that can get really that, big. That's not really, a, that's not really a fair number. And then we have like these other customers who <clears throat> already work with an affiliate network, but have one or two very large affiliates uh, with whom they have contact directly, and for, with whom you know they're like, okay, we 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 already like have all the contact together. Uh, we can pay you out directly. Like, why would we do this through an affiliate network and pay them a cut? Yep. So they they sort of like they go around the affiliate network. So it's like really different. So that's it's, really, it's hard to, to get a mean or an average in there. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Can I ask you the this? The range is like, it's like some people, like our biggest customers are around like 40,000 affiliates. Uh, and then uh, and then there's um, uh, customers who have one or two. Let me and ask. And are doing like extremely high, high, uh, high um, sales rates. Let me ask you a different question. Over the past 12 months, how many affiliates have you paid like at least a dollar? Uh, I don't have that number right now, but it is, uh, it, it is like over a hundred thousand. Okay. Got it. So a thousand customers, what you're, that are paying you directly, what you're saying is they, you know, on average, this is obviously an average, you have very different customer cohorts, but on average, they've maybe got a hundred affiliates signed up that they've paid at least some money in the past 12 months. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, you're full owner. Any, I mean, any any thoughts on raising capital or no? Uh, it's something that always lingers in the background. Um, you know, like doing things bootstrapped. Like we're actually getting to a point where we, where I'm starting to find out. Okay, so if I, you know, if I if I got in capital from the from the start, I might have taken some turns uh, in a different way. Uh, but all in all, like th that's just like 20%, 80%, well, even less, I guess. But like, I'm super happy about how things are going. You know, I'm super happy, which is very important to people who, who I work with are happy. Everybody's basically happy. So are, it's, are you in any, it makes it harder to, to make a step like that. Are you in and any, it's not really needed because we're growing fine. You know, we're, we've been profitable since year two. Uh, everything is just going really well. So there's not really a need at this point. Yeah. Well, it's hard to measure opportunity cost, right? 
So you're growing 20, 30% right. year over year, right? The question is, if you had 5 million bucks, could you triple year over year? You, it's hard to actually measure that and actually feel it. Yeah, exactly. And that, that's why it's always lingering. But uh, we used to grow 100% year over year. It's just this year that, you know, we've been stunned by, uh, yeah. by the new website. When it comes um, to are you in any discussion? Oh, Exactly. Are you in any discussions to sell the company to anybody? Uh, there's always people knocking. Yeah. What, um, if you did sell, what things, what check boxes would you have to check? That's a very good question. Uh, you know, the, the multiple has to be good, obviously. Um, and, it, it, you know, it really depends on the, the, the kind of buyer. You know, what, what I would love is to... Uh, you know, get someone who wants to do a strategic acquisition, you know, to, uh, for example, to enhance their own product or to, um, yeah, to, for, for that, for it to be part of their product development. Um, so we can sort of like grow into that company, learn something along the way, you know, because I've never been in a situation like that where, um, so I think that will be the most interesting for me and for my team, uh, from a growth perspective. So, um, yeah, let's just, let's just keep it at that. That's good. When you say good multiple, I mean, are you talking three X, 10 X, four X? What do you consider the range of good? revenue X, right? Yeah. Yes. Your ARR. Yeah. So yeah, no, I, uh, I'd say five times would be good. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think you might get some, point, we, we need to really ramp up. Yeah, sir. I want to say that we really need to like ramp up growth, like harder than this to get, get something better than that. Yeah, I was going to say even 5x with 7% churn and 20 to 30% year over year growth, I think you'll have a challenge. But but uh, it sounds like you historically have had better numbers and you're working on getting back to those. So that's great. Yeah, there's there, a lot to win still. That's good. All right, Thomas, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? <clears throat> Influence. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Not a CEO, but it's a desk trainer of Intercom. Yep. He's a chief strategy officer. Yep. <clears throat> uh, number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your business? Bupra. Spell it? Bupra. W-O-O-P-R-A. No, ah, uh, yeah, Bupra. Okay, number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Very healthy, eight. That's good. And what's your situation? Married, single, kiddos? Married and obviously two cats. Two cats, <laughs> no kids. And, <laughs> and how old are you, Thomas? I'm 31. 31. Last question. What do you wish your 20 year old self knew? Um, you're on the right track. Keep going. <laughs> you're on the right track. Guys, there you have it. Tap Affiliate founded uh, many years ago. Call it, let's see, 2014. Now serving about 1,000 customers, paying 80 bucks a month. So about a million dollars in run rate, 7% logo churn per month, 5% revenue churn per month. Working on bringing, obviously, both those numbers down. He's bootstrapped, which I love. Team of five people based in Europe. They're spending about 100 bucks to get a new customer. So two-month payback. Looking good, Thomas. Thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you so much.